What is up guys? We are back here with another Market Watch video. This time we're featuring Phantom Phantom Nightmare because holy shit, people thought the set was going to bomb. And it's actually doing some pretty interesting stuff here cuz uh I mean um it hasn't been that long since its release. I think about I think officially about a week. And I mean, prices did drop in certain cars. We've seen that Snake Eyes Poplar. This on, on release about it was about a fifty dollar card. Now it's about thirty two. It looks like because uh, I mean it's a good extender and all that stuff. But now that people are opening up packs and it is only an ultra rare, meaning that it's easier to get than a secret rare. Then obviously it's going to fall down in price. Uh, the more people are opening a product, right? The only thing that will you know make this card go up higher is if fire decks continue to do what can what uh fire decks have been continuing to do since like i don't know late november or something like that so yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes but here's the thing right we have other other stuff in the scene that has come come through in phantom nightmare first of all voiceless voice is a thing guys Low is 70 bucks. did also go down slightly, but this is a very good generic ritual card just in general. And because of this, because of Voiceless Voice, there's actually another card that's been going up in value recently that we'll take a look at. But this card is still, I feel like this is going to be one of the cards that is going to be like $100 if Voiceless Voice actually does stuff in the TCG. We haven't really seen what Voiceless Voice is going to do in the TCG, right? So we'll see how it goes because i i can't speculate too much i think we're also getting some more voices voice stuff in uh legacy of destruction so we haven't gotten the full potential of this deck yet so that's why i'm, I'm more like hey we'll see how it goes maybe 64 or i guess 69 49 no 420 reference in there all right uh, you could have shoehorned it at least like 69.42 or something like that but you didn't so i'm disappointed in you mr drew but uh yeah, I feel like this card is actually kind of cheap right now with how generic it is. And, I mean, Voiceless Voice did top in the OCG, so we'll see. The other thing is, too, we have Ubel, and Ubel is scary, man. Like, I'm trying to downplay it just because I don't want to face Ubel people. And, like, I really want to play Ubel, and I really hope it's not meta, but it's... We'll read the effect, man. All right, so this card is one Ubel monster. It doesn't have to even be Ubel. And one effect monster on the field or more and um in case you guys didn't know we have this card called super poly and you can basically just steal your opponent's board with this card i mean you combine this with an ibiru and other cards that negate or what other people have been doing they've been combining this with with unchained because Ubel is a fiend and unchained also steals stuff from your opponent's field and then we're also getting a new new underworld goddess kind of retrain it's kind of it's almost like an underworld goddess that is also going to let you steal more cards from your opponent's side and underworld goddess herself steals cards from your opponent's field basically all this to say right i mean a ubel deck doesn't need a lot of extra deck monsters you can fill it with a lot of generic good extra deck monsters that fit with this theme of stealing your opponent's board and your opponent can't do shit about it. I guess the only thing is um, stuff like Labyrinth is probably going to be more more played if if we see Ubel uh, terrorizing the field and all that stuff. But Ubel did go up in price. So I hope you guys bought in when it was slightly cheaper. Also, we're seeing the listings somewhat disappearing, 50 listings now, and, and so on and so forth. Vito's has been sitting roughly around the same price range since release. So that's kind of decent. I, I don't think people... Um, they, they don't know what to do with this card, I think, right now, because it's, it's, uh, it, I, the archetype itself isn't doing shit because it's a TCG exclusive and TCG, TCG exclusive cards just don't do shit, but it has weird interactions that I think people want to try out. Uh, we have Safira Sa Sa or something like that, uh, uh, sitting at a $10 range, which has been, that's where it plateaued, but again, if Voiceless Voice does anything in the TCG, all these Voiceless Voice cards are going to be really cheap, considered really cheap right now, so I would stock up in the event, but my personal favorite coming out of Phantom Nightmare is the Goblins. The Goblins were dirt cheap on release, and now they're going up in value. For example, Doug Charger, which is just my favorite 
fucking the fa- my favorite uh, uh, name of this uh, in this archetype. It was like a yeah, like a two dollar card on release. I think he, I, I saw some lower listings as well. Now the listings are disappearing, and the price is going up. So people, I think, are realizing that this this deck is fun and kind of splashable. You know, it's it's a it's a little nice little deck. I don't know if it topped in the OCG, but people sometimes just want to have fun. You know, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I, that's my personal favorite coming out of this uh this uh, this set I, 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 this besides you bell of course but the only reason i, I like it is because i'm ca- trying to invest in it and trying to make some money off it you bell i think you, you might actually make some money off that but it all depends on on what's meta all right i guess we'll continue on the track here with you bell because we we already have this tab open we know that this quarter century rare th- this is cheap guys 82 dollars for this quarter century rare is cheap it was going down a little bit more and then the listing started disappearing and that's when i scooped up i actually did scoop up a copy because i was waiting right i was like maybe it'll go down a little bit more but now that the listings are 26 I think it's time. If you guys need or want a copy in your in your collection of you Bell as a quarter century bear, I would pick it up now. Uh, we also have Spirit of You Bell. I don't think this card is going to go up too go too go, go too crazy in the market. Cause I, I mean, you think I think you need two or three of in a deck for sure, but it's a super rare in a main set, so it's going to be printed to to death. I guess it just depends on how good the deck actually is and how meta it is, but. Even then, I don't see it going past like ten dollars, uh, and, and that's generous, right? It, it has to be a really good archetype. So we'll we'll see, we'll see. Besides that, all the U Bell stuff is really expensive. We have the Ultimate Nightmare is seventy nine bucks. You guys are not waiting for the reprints, which is insane. Wait for the reprints. After the reprints, all of these are gonna be dirt cheap. I do see U Bell going, and again, if it's meta, and depending on how shorted it is. In the upcoming, um, in the upcoming set, what's the set name? Battles of Legend Chapter One or some shit like that. It depends on how shorted it is in that set, but I do think this this card is it's just not worth twenty seven bucks, right? You need maybe two, and depending on how you play, you bell, you might not even need the Ultimate Nightmare or the Terror Incarnate, the middle form. So, yeah, take it take it with what it is, guys. I feel like these cards are way too overpriced, and I wouldn't buy the, them right now. If if you do have them, I would actually sell them. All right, so continuing on, man. Oh man, the set Phantom Phantom Nightmare is crazy. Raid Raptor Force Strix. It went up in price like crazy from this OTS pack, and then uh, people started listing again, and then it kind of cooled down, but it's still sitting at a cool eight dollars for super rare. That ain't bad. Like if you have this copy, go ahead and sell it. If you're trying to play Raid Raptor um raid raptors there actually is a cheaper option for you in ots horn impact 24 which i recommend buying because uh i mean come on it's, it's a it's a common but 90 90 cents it, you you can't beat a dollar just buy this one and also i mean the listings are disappearing it is the the most recent ots pack so chances are it's it's gonna go up in price uh sooner rather than later continuing on here with the same theme, Raid Raptors, man. A lot of these cards did uh, start going off the market. We got Strangle Lanai's. This card was not printed, or I guess reprinted in the tins, uh, and it was from Phantom Rachel. What, what was that, like three years ago? And it did get a resurgence because of the new support that came out in Phantom Nightmare. It was like spiking up pretty crazy. Even now, there's very low listings. If you have this, I would get rid of it. It might go up further, and... The only reason I'm saying it might, I'm more confident in it going up further is because, again, it hasn't been printed and there's no set that's coming up where it will be, uh, will it have the potential of getting reprinted? So, I mean, we'll see. This is this card is kind of in limbo for the next two months, depending on how well Raid Raptors do, um, then it'll, it'll either spike up or maintain its price uh, for a little bit, but... I don't like to gamble on this kind of stuff, man. It's a super rare in a in a in a, in a main set. Sell it for like seven bucks and make a cool little, uh, probably not profit, but you know, cool little seven bucks there. But uh, continuing on, we're trucking along. Your maze of millennia, man. This set was is pretty decent. It if it wasn't for bonfire though, I, I don't know. I don't know. This car, this set would have been actually pretty pretty average. But uh, 
Anyways, Bonfire continues to do Bonfire things. People are buying it out for for whatever reason. It's a hundred. I think it's gonna peak and it might touch one hundred and twenty dollars, but after that, it's it's not gonna go any further. Because again, there's just other stuff in the scene right now. Other contenders, other decks. Raid Raptor, we have you, Bell. Like I said, voiceless voice. Is Fire now the ultimate suppressor? Not anymore. I feel like Ubel is going to be the ultimate suppress suppressor. It's going to be oppressing, I, I guess I should say, the opponents. So, I don't know. I feel like this set... Wait, hang on. Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, was a collector? Why would they do that? There were, like, better options in here for a collector rare spot. That is crazy. But, uh, Junk Warrior, th this, this is shocking to me because... I guess it's because it doesn't really see play, but it's a, an alternate R quarter century rare. Quarter century rares being like really hard to get from these side sets. They started doing this like two side sets ago, I think, and it's maybe one per case. So it's it's really shocking that it's 18 bucks. Honestly, for $18, I'd gamble and buy that just because it's uh, an alternate art looks cool and all that jazz. So um, definitely definitely something i'd pick up if i were you guys um again 18 bucks it's not it's not that much to gamble off so i'd pick that up anyway so what uh, other stuff right super poly super glue just because of the ubel stuff has been all the copies have been going up in value and i would say pick this up as well because you the ubel supremacy is real and just in general i mean you want super poly because it's Super Poly, right? It's just a generic good card. It it oh, it has so many weird swings and has since its release, just because it's such a good card. We have the the latest release here from Monsters Revenge. Started off at a four four dollars and now it's doubled in price. So that is insane, guys. Um, I would pick this up. In a related note, we have a Garuru. I, f I feel like that's his name. Yeah, this guy has also been going up in price because, again, it's, we're hitting the Super Poly meta with Ubel, at least in, in a rogue sense. I, I really hope, again, I, I hope Ubel isn't meta because I want to play it, but it's probably going to be meta. So that's why I'm saying, like, oh, man, it, it's going to suck. It's going to suck, but it's also going to be kind of cool to see a GX uh, archetype be meta. But this card is like one of the ultimate super poly targets because it's not only a really good card, but it's also a generic fusion that a lot of people play in, in their super poly uh, decks. So it's been going up in value. I've been seeing it, uh, wait, that ain't right. It should be about 14, yeah, 14 bucks. But it's been uh, in the past year, I think it's been six months actually since it's released. It's, uh, it went down quite a bit, and this was the affordable range that you guys should have been picking it up on. Now here, I guess it depends, because we this card might actually be reprinted in the Rarity Collection. It's it's a contender for sure, but also, maybe not. So, to be honest, maybe 15 bucks is kind of cheap still in its lifetime. I'll let you guys decide. $15 is where I usually try to get out of these cards, especially if they have multiple copies. But uh, I'll leave that, guy, that that up to you guys. I think there was something else here. Voice is voice, right? So it's I think it's still in one of the tins, but it's not in this one. It was in the 22 tin um, in the Mega Pack. There we go. I saw it. Uh, we have a generic Ritual Monster, Diviner of the Herald. This card has also been going up in, in value. I've seen it go up. It, like crazy and, and it's it's had a really good run up in the past couple months and i've been holding out guys i've, I've mentioned this card before and i was like hey it, it was at 20 dollars, and i was like you know what i'm gonna hold on to it because it has a little bit further to go voiceless voice was released 28 listings were sitting at like 22 at the lowest but then it goes straight up to 25 or like a couple listings down and even then i mean 27 bucks so We'll see. Will this get re restocked? Probably, but will it get restocked at higher prices? I kind of think so. I do think this card has a $40 potential. Again, we have a two-month time span of no reprints between now and Legend Legend of Destruction. And even then, Legend of De Legacy, not Legend, Legacy of Destruction, it will be a main, main set, which means there's no reprints in that. So there's stuff, actually, a, a, higher, a higher span of no reprints. Could this be in the Rarity Collection too? Again, this is a good contender, but we don't know as of now. So this card definitely has a $40 potential. So I'm going to keep my copies a little bit longer because Voice's Voice, again, was topping. 
But that is it, guys. Let me know what you guys are looking at in the market. And uh, let me know if I got anything correct here. What, what are your predictions for Voices Voice, Ubell, and um, Raid Raptor? Because that's really what we covered uh, in this video. Catch you guys in the next one.